revelers gathered in the London neighborhood of Notting Hill on Sunday to celebrate the annual Notting Hill Carnival. The two-day event returned to England's capital for its 55th year. Elaborately dressed performers danced through the streets while carnival goers of all ages cheered along. So yeah, we come every year. Um, especially it's important to show our children the Caribbean history from our parents coming over here and what they used to do. So it's carrying on the tradition of coming to carnival. The carnival evolved out of the Windrush generation. This generation refers to migrants from the West Indies who emigrated to the United Kingdom for post-Second World War employment. The passing of time has not altered the festival's atmosphere. The vibe hasn't really changed. What's changed is the technology. So you've got the, instead of you having all the live bands, now you have DJs. Attending Notting Hill Carnival for me is a way to celebrate my heritage. It's a way to gather with my people and with other people as well, because now Notting Hill Carnival is attended by everyone. Notting Hill Carnival is one of the longest running street parties in the world and the largest in Europe. Some two million people were set to attend, among them families and music lovers. Actually, we've only come to Notting Hill Carnival twice before, um, so it's really special to come back for the third time with Dad for his first time because he's English and my mum's Trinidadian so it's nice to blend the two cultures together. I actually live just around the corner so I'm very excited I'm like super immersed in it and yeah it's my first carnival in the UK. This year also marks the 75th anniversary of the docking of the HMT Empire Windrush carrying passengers from the Caribbean invited to the UK. Several hundreds of them were Jamaican but others arrived from islands including Trinidad, St. Lucia, Grenada and Barbados.